Hey guys, so I got a 12 horse Briggs here. I get a question asked all the time on the comments, and it's about this little plastic button right here where your throttle cable hooks to. They used to be made out of metal, it used to be a metal tack, and they changed them to the plastic one sometime in the 80s or 90s. And I've never had them break, but apparently it's a real common issue on these. I don't know if it's because of the throttle cable being out of adjustment and putting too much pressure on it or something or what but and there's two different varieties on these this is the vertical one where your cable comes in from the top there's also another setup that's horizontal the parts basically the same on both of them but here's the bad thing about it you can't buy just that plastic piece if that breaks you gotta buy this whole bracket which ain't that hard to change and you got one bolt here there's one down here there should be another one here somewhere on there there's usually three bolts that hold these on, two or three bolts. And so it's not that hard to change out. You, know, you just gotta hook your you know your linkage and your governor spring back up and your throttle cable. But this whole bracket's depending on where you're buying it from. It could be anywhere between twenty and forty dollars. And uh, even on eBay they're not really that cheap. And you can still buy these. They're still being made and because they haven't really changed much. You don't see these vertical ones very often anymore, but most of them are horizontal now, and it's the same problem on both of them. I don't know why they make them out of plastic for. It's just something that breaks on them, you know. And, and you see the pivot point's riveted on there anyway, so you'd have to drill out the rivet to change it and everything. Uh, if you take it apart, you might be able to fix yours if it's not broke too bad, or if it didn't shatter. You might be able to, like, JV weld it or make a... You might be able to actually like cast one out of uh, JB Weld or something, you know, to make a little heavier duty one or something. But uh, I don't know why, like I said, I don't know why they made them like this. And I guess it's just something you have to replace, you know. But, but yeah, I get asked about it all the time, and I figured I'd make a quick little video in case this piece breaks on yours and you're trying to find it and you can't find it. So uh, that's why you can't find it, because they don't make it as an individual part. Dumbest thing ever. <laughs> and you can buy just about any other part on these old engines, but you can't find that nowhere. It don't even on the parts diagram. It don't even have an error pointed to it or anything. It's just you know this whole bracket is a part. All right, so this is one on a five horse Briggs. It's basically the same thing. I got this off so we can look at the back side so you can see how it's made. Your plastic parts here and them teeth are bad about breaking too in order to get it off if you have another one or another engine you have to remove this rivet here and this metal part to come off and this will slide all the way over to let you remove the plastic part so i said they could have made it a replaceable part you know but they decided not to so well guys thanks for watching and uh now there's a quick little video and not really doing anything on it, but I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.